Good evening, parents, guardians, friends, and community members. Welcome to the 2020 Senior Awards Night event. This is certainly different than usual as we are coming to you this evening from your homes. Before we begin to celebrate key members of the senior class this evening, allow me to just say thank you. We experienced a significant shift over the last two and a half, month, two and a half months, and we know that it hasn't been without drama, frustration, disappointment, and also some angst. But I just wanted to thank you for your ongoing support. For those seeing this who are not members of the high school community, my name is Dennis Williams. And I'm the proud principal here at Happer Horsham High School. Thank you for joining us this evening. For me, next to graduation, tonight is truly one of the best nights on the school calendar. It's an exciting night for me as the building principal and also for my administrative team. It allows us the opportunity to reward four years of student achievement and also dedicated service. Select students received invitations to view this presentation as they are being recognized based on their good deeds, their acts, their academics, their athletic ability, their community service, service learning activities that they've engaged in, based on the impression that members of this class have left on our school and community both in and outside of these school walls. I'd like to take an opportunity to thank those who, despite the chaos of COVID-19 and what it has forced us to do and how it's forced us to make adjustments, this evening wouldn't be possible without these people. This is Marcy Verano, is the point person for our community scholarships, which is a process that began back in November. Thanks, Mrs. Verano, Mrs. Heil, and her assistance in production of the PowerPoint this evening. This event would not be possible without the dedicated support and commitment of Mr. Bob Anderson and Ms. Amanda Treble of HHTV. It wouldn't be possible, especially under these current circumstances. At this time, I would like to begin with the slideshow, recognizing all of our winners. This first slide will recognize our first winner of the evening. As you will see, the slides will show both the award followed by the winner. Special thanks to some of our community scholarship donors who have also sent a video of the winners. Our first award is the Happer Horsham School Board Directors Scholarship. Thank you. Greetings to the Happer Horsham Class of 2020. My name is Erin Coombs and I'm here on behalf of the Edward Teller Coombs Foundation to present this year's scholarship award recipients. The first two awards, amounts of $1,000 each, will be going to Sydney Kemp and Julia Warden. The next award, amounts of $2,000, will be going to Emma Rosing. The Commonwealth National Foundation ETC Foundation Partnership Award, amounts of $3,500, will be going to Elizabeth Wilson. The Edward Teller Coombs Foundation Legacy Scholarship, amounts of $5,000, will be going to Erica Selsley. Congratulations to all the seniors, and go Hatters! The Jeremy Kircher and Carolyn Kircher Scholarship was created in memory of Jeremy T. Kircher Sr., a 1995 Happer Worsham High School graduate, and in honor of Carolyn C. Kircher, a longtime kindergarten teacher at Crooked Build Elementary School. Both were dedicated educators who sought to bring out the full potential of all the students whose lives they touched. The scholarship will be awarded to a Happer Worsham High School senior who attended Crooked Billet and through his or her school career showed dignity, citizenship, respect and kindness, truly following the personal side of what we call PACE at Keith Valley, and that's doing what is right even when no one is watching. I'm proud to announce on behalf of my brother, my mom, and my dad, the following students that were honored today. Brooke Anderson, Lily Bigley, Patrick Chapman, Lucas Lociavo, Brianna Wesolowski, and Taylor Wesolowski. Congratulations.
Hello, my name is Dan Smith, and I'm representing H.A. Troops and the Brian Byrne Scholarship. The Brian Byrne Scholarship started in 2005, and since then we've been able to issue $64,000 in money to our graduating Happer Horsham seniors, something that our H.A. Troops board is extremely proud of. This year we have five winners, each receiving $800. And the winners this year are Haley Anderson, Grace Daniels, Brady McCormick, Stephen Mandea and Rochelle Westcott. Congratulations. On behalf of the Mulligan family, we are excited to announce the winners of the second annual Michael J. Mulligan Memorial Scholarship in memory of our father. With our father's love of Hapro Horsham and basketball in the community, this scholarship gets awarded to selected seniors who were involved in the H Hoops program over the years. And the three 2020 winners are Jack Marvin who played H Hoops for nine years and will be going to Indiana University. Joseph McAllister, who played H Hoops for 12 years and will be attending West Virginia University. Ben Schlosser, who played H Hoops for 11 years and will be going to Temple University. Congrats to all the recipients and good luck in the fall.
Hello, I'm Dr. Jonathan Riches, the chairman of the Hatboro Rotary Scholarship Committee. Hatboro Rotary is a service organization giving tens of thousands of dollars each year for community and world projects, such as the eradication of polio, hat packs, the Hatboro Library, Meals on Wheels, and of course, Hatboro Rotary Scholarships. I want to wish a hearty congratulations to the class of 2020. This year, we are awarding a record-setting number of scholarships for a total of $6,900. Our first award is the VoTech Award, a $500 scholarship, and that goes to Becca Klein. We are awarding four academic scholarships for our finalists. Each of these scholarships is $100. Those go to Gretchen Reese, Kelly Vaisman, Julia Warden, and Elizabeth Wilson. Finally, our grand prize scholarship of $1,500, renewable for a total of four years, for a grand total of $6,000, is awarded to Lars Knudsen. Congratulations to all of the Hatboro Rotary Scholarship recipients and the class of 2020. We wish you well. Thank you. Hi, I'm Corinne Lefkowitz, Chair of the Horsham Rotary Scholarship Committee. We are so disappointed that we can't celebrate with you in person this year, but we were nonetheless very impressed with the applications that we received. At this time, when all of the news can seem so negative and overwhelming, it was extra encouraging to read about your accomplishments and all of the ways that you're making our world a better place. So we're thrilled to award seven scholarships this year to Hatboro Horsham seniors. At the risk of mispronouncing anybody's name, I'm gonna leave that task to the announcers who know you a bit better. But on behalf of the Horsham Rotary, congratulations to all the winners and thank you for putting service above self. For our scholarship, the Horsham Lions Club asked the guidance counselors to pick a recipient for us. We asked them to choose someone they felt was not getting the recognition they deserve, a candidate who might have been overlooked or slipped through the cracks someone they wanted to recognize and honor. Let me tell you, they were very excited to be able to award a scholarship to this person. They tell me he's very hardworking, humble and kind, and very involved in the community and in volunteerism. So join me in, in congratulating Christian Flores, the winner of our $1,000 Max Hankin Memorial Scholarship. The Golden Movie Organization would like to congratulate two individuals that were excellent students and gave back to their community. This year's recipients are Grace Daniels and, she and Sheila Fisher. It's unfortunate that this senior year was cut short and you lost out on so many activities. With that in mind, it gives me great pleasure and a privilege to present you both with the Don Dillon Senior Scholarship. Good luck in the future and continue helping out in your community. And be sure to keep in touch with us through BingoToMovie.com and check us out on Facebook. Thank you. Hi, it's Mrs. Schwanbach from Key Valley Middle School and Brian Dilworth was my cousin. My name is Kristen Thompson and Brian Dilworth was my husband. We're here today to announce the winner of the first annual Brian Dilworth Memorial Scholarship Fund. So Brian was a lifelong fan of music. He was an active listener, loved tons of bands. He was also in some bands as a, as a teenager and as a young guy. We played guitar and bass and sang. Um, he also was a tour manager and an artist manager at times. But the thing that was really the center of his life was being a concert promoter. So he booked shows in the Philadelphia area. Um, he started out at some of the smaller venues, um, like the Kyber Pass especially, and then um, worked his way up through um, to the bigger venues, um, booking up to like the 7,000, 10,000, 15,000 capacity venues in the Philadelphia area, especially the Mann Center for the Performing Arts and the Electric Factory. And um, for him, you know, music was an opportunity. It gave him a career and, and he really was quite successful at it. And I think it's wonderful that even though he passed away on March 9th that we're able to do something in his honor. And so with his unfortunate passing, we've seen a ripple effect of kindness and giving and that's why this Memorial Scholarship was created. And so we're super happy to announce Alex Ray as the award recipient this year. 
and you were chosen, Alexander, by your music uh, department high school teachers as someone who was pursuing a career in music, but most importantly, someone who is kind and supportive to others. So congrats, Annie. Congrats, Annie. Kate Hemiskill, Vice President of the Heifer Worsham Aquatic Association. I'm very pleased to announce the winner of our community scholarship is Matthew Spector. Matthew has been a longtime leader and role model within our organization, and we are so proud of everything he has done. Congratulations, Matthew. You absolutely deserve this. And I am very pleased to announce that the winner of our scholarship is Jennifer Allison. Uh, in addition to being me knowing Jennifer as a swimmer and a role model for my younger daughter who's on the swim team, I also had the privilege of teaching Jen when she was a ninth grade student in geometry class. And I could not be happier or think of a more deserving recipient. Congratulations, Jen. I am so proud of you. My name is Carolyn Kushner and I'm the Vice President of the High School Home and School Association. On behalf of the Scholarship Committee, we would like to congratulate the recipients of the 2020 Home and School Association Scholarship. Kylie Caputo, Isabel Falguera, Sheila McGreevy, Joshua Palakal, Luke Rawlinson, Gretchen Reese, Emily Schwartz, and Grace Wollerman. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Thank you. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. I would like to begin by thanking the Donnelly family. In memory of their son, Lenny, a graduate of the Hatters class of 2004, the family has generously awarded scholarships to distinguished student athletes that played for the school's varsity ice hockey team. We are proud to announce that our captain, Zied Elsaba, has been selected as the recipient of the 2019-2020 Lenny Donnelly Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Zied. We know that you will continue to make us proud. Go Hatters! Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin Smith and I created the Fearless Athlete Scholarship to honor both my alma mater and my time at Harper Horsham. Being on the HH soccer team shaped me, so I wanted the chance to give back to another student athlete as they embark on their next chapter. Congratulations to this year's recipient of the Fearless Athlete Scholarship, Cameron Ryan. I hope so many more moments feel like that October day for you. Congratulations, good luck, and stay fearless.
2012 alum, I love playing soccer at HH in the University of Scranton. Created this scholarship for the love of the game to celebrate high school athletes who worked hard and love the game as much as I do. I'm proud to announce the recipient of this year's scholarship goes to someone whose determination, talent, and skill brought her to the next level. Congratulations, Emma Rosing. Good luck at Lehigh and continue to be the hardest working player on and off the field. Have a good one. Ann M. Frangipani Memorial Scholarship continues the legacy of a local nurse, mother, wife, and community volunteer. It continues her work by providing a scholarship to a Hapro Horsham graduate who they themselves or family was most affected by a medical illness. This year, our family has chosen Lindsay Rich. Congratulations, Lindsay, and good luck to you in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to present the Hatter Pride Scholarship. The Hatter Pride Scholarship was developed a few years back. The purpose of this scholarship is to recognize students who have shown continued dedication and commitment to HH and the school district community through their commitment to connect and engage in various aspects of the whole school experience. This year, the winners of the Hatter Pride Scholarship are Isabel Valgara, Andrew Lestalka, Sheila Fisher, Josh Palakow, and Kylie 
Caputo. Congratulations to these five students on receiving the Hatter Pride Scholarship. Our next scholarship is awarded annually to two members of the senior class who represent the Happer Horsham School District in fine fashion from an academic standpoint, citizenship, community, and commitment to helping others. The scholarship is made possible by the individual contributions of district administrators, supervisors, and directors. This group of Happer Horsham School District leaders are proud and honored to provide this scholarship every year. This year, the winners are Ava Fuchs and Charlotte Roper. Congratulations on receiving the Happer Horsham School District Administrators Scholarship. Once again, I'd like to say thank you to both the Hatboro and Horsham communities and the representatives who presented awards to our students this evening. It's the unwavering support of these individuals and the organizations that they represent that has allowed us to give away a little over $70,000 this evening. Parents and guardians, it is also important to recognize and to reiterate the job that you have done and the support that you have provided to these students who were recognized this evening. It has played a major role in their recognition tonight, your support. Your involvement in their lives and commitment to their endeavors has helped them reach that point. So thank you as well. Ladies and gentlemen, we look forward to seeing all of you again just a few short days as we kick off graduation night on June 8th at 6.30 p.m. To all of our guests this evening, once again, we thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you virtually on Monday. Have a great evening and have a great weekend. See you soon.